before we had Foursquare or Dodgeball or any of those, we actually had Verizon's early effort uh, at breadcrumb, which created quite a backlash as it related to consumers saying, you're, you're doing what? You're tracking and then potentially publishing my whereabouts at any given time. If you look at the check-in businesses today, they're all self-selected. In other words, you make an overt effort to do the check-in. You control it. It's not checked in for you. And these devices can do that today. Once you have that smart device around you, wherever you are, you become a point of presence. So it's absorbing what's around you, and then it's also pinging what's around you. I have some friends who you could literally see every freaking step they've taken during their day because they're checking in everywhere. There, there might be some applications where the ch automatic check-in sort of works, like um, the running app monitors, like RunKeeper. Obviously, you need to keep track of you, and that's sort of a automatic check-in, but not in the sense of checking in at every place, you know, on Foursquare or one of those services. All companies are flirting with privacy issues. We really want to trust companies that they'll do the right thing. For example, I invest in a company called Life 360, which is an app for tracking your family. If they take the phone, I know where everybody is and we're all connected via a network. I want to keep track of everybody. It's, it's quite obvious with the money being pushed into this industry that someone's going to come up with software or hardware that just takes us to a whole new level where you'll look back in the check-in and go, well, that was silly. Look what I can do now. In the beginning, you've got people saying, I'm here. Whatever here means, by the way. Here may mean I'm at a restaurant or a ball game, but it also may mean I'm present watching a TV show or a play or a movie. So here isn't necessarily just limited to the physical spectrum. Other apps are taking the check-in metaphor and sort of adopting it to the specific use case. We have a company called Pose, which makes fashion applications. They enable people to check in with an outfit in a location. And it's a metaphor that's highly appropriate to fashion versus saying I am at a place. Other things can be at a place too related to you. And I think that we're just beginning to see how that works across different industries. So there's a lot of reasons to check in. On Yelp, there's a particularly interesting tie-in to our review writing. So if you're an active Yelper, you write a lot of reviews, the check-in then serves as an extra indication of trust. Because you are actually within the vicinity of that business. My review goes up and there's a badge on it saying I checked in. And also how many times I've checked in. I think that the notion of check-ins, whether it's an explicit thing or, or, or otherwise, it's here to stay. And that is linked to a whole world of how people are going to find their friends and how they're going to find deals and how businesses are going to find customers. Is checking in a fad? No, I don't think that's a fad. I think that's, that's here to stay. There's yet a lot more to be invented about how that goes about you know, en uh, enriching people's lives. That's what I'm excited about seeing over the next few years.